guys welcome back to another episode of m creator lore so today what we're going to be working on is getting some stuff built uh for the um volcanic biome and i wanted to go ahead and redesign the entire biome so it was a little bit more um different i'm basing my um concept off of the deltas so in the nether but um I'm going to be looking at some of the features and stuff, and I'm going to try configuring it the best that I can uh, for the actual system. So I have made a little bit of progress with the um, actual things uh, for the script. Now, I've been looking over the original code, which are these files here for the deltas, and this would probably work well for the nether being underground and stuff, but when it comes to the um actual what do you call it the um surface it's a little bit different that we're going to have to work with so some of these things are basically like i've been basically just testing the lines of code and stuff like that and i'm going to try rebuilding it from scratch and trying to get it all set up so i wanted uh this one right here which will uh, allow us to use a um uh, what do you call it, a uh, type of block, and then we can go ahead and select another type of block, and that will allow us to go ahead and um, basically um, make a blob, which is similar to how um, piles of clay are generated, or uh, another example would be... Um, just general things like yeah, it's used in the nether as well uh, for some of the other materials and stuff like that. So we're going to be replacing the um, basalt version with a cobblestone version. And what we're going to do from there is we're going to go ahead and um, create a minimum and maximum because that's what's in the config file. And we're going to set these to zero uh, because that's what it's in the config file for the base one. Then I'm going to make sure that it's inside the biome itself. And then I just needed to figure out where I needed to put the other part uh, for the uh, thing. So I'm going to randomize it. And that seemed to be correct for the code. Now I just need to basically go ahead and um, try to get it to um, generate. So like for the height wise. I need to figure out what part was basically controlling it. So basically this was the other thing that we needed to set it to 75. And I think that's all the code that was required in that particular setting. So that's literally everything right there. And you can do that yourself. You just need to extract the files of the thing, go under the placed features under world, um, world gen. And you might notice that there is some changes with it. The cobblestone is generating a little bit too common for my liking. Uh, there is some basalt, but there's not a whole lot of it. And I want to kind of mix that in with other types of uh, blocks as well, like the mossy cobble and stuff like that as well. So I'm figuring we'll probably go ahead and uh, lower that. Uh, now I already got the uh, foundation for the deltas set up. So as you can see, there's lava generating on some of the flatter parts and that's through the deltas. Uh, that's not gonna make too much of a difference at the moment, but over time, what I ended up doing was I basically went ahead and added, lowered the amount of um, cobblestone and then I changed or basically added support for mossy cobblestone. So that's why it's a little bit different than the first clip. And then Basically, this is what I'm doing. I'm just making sure that that's all set up. I'm using that particular one. And then this is for the mossy cobble stone feature. And that's literally all the code that I'm using. So um, I need to create pillars and I set the, the blob one. So that's the roof or the, the top and bottom. But now we need to go ahead and create pillars, which are going to be a little bit different. So we need to go ahead and uh, tweak some of the code a little bit for what we need. Now, we're basically using the same thing. Uh, this is the the difference that I did was I made sure that it was on 65. And for the pillars themselves, uh, this is the volcanic pillar. 
I'm going ahead and basically going and setting the um, it to be constant at 100 because there wasn't that many. Uh, because we're testing if it's uh, at motion blocking. That allows it to basically go ahead and put it on the terrain surface. And we're doing basically everything else. I'm just basically going to randomize the repeat time to give it some variety of the... Uh, how common the parts are so like the height and stuff is also randomized based on the variable the weights up above so this is basically the result that I got which is closer to what I was imagining uh, the pillars are a little bit too high for my liking but uh, we might be able to fix that with some other things some parts like this were a little bit thinner and that's where the weight uh, for the repeat uh, comes in so that's where what we're doing there uh, again, it's just a matter of tinkering with it, testing a game, finding the biome. Um, if you know where a biome is, you can always just regenerate the the world itself and then just basically teleport there. So here's another example of what it looks like at the moment. And uh, basically added um, with the deltas and everything like that, it looks um, a little bit differently than what it did before. So... Um, I'm showing this part because there's a lot of uh, larger area to see and it gives a good representation of what the biome actually looks like uh, when it's actually flat. So that's why I'm showing this part. So it's a very uh, lavity, lavily, I can't even say that. I don't even think it's the word. Okay, um, it's like there's lots of lava and stuff and it looks like it generates uh, even down below in some of the the caves and stuff like that. So that's, that's interesting. Um... And as you can see here, the cobblestone also um, replaced the, the parts that we replaced. So uh, the next thing that I needed to do was I needed to duplicate this. And we're going to call it volcanic uh, large uh, basalt. And then we're going to go columns. And that's basically where we have to actually build something. And we're going to basically go ahead and um, make it so we can generate more large clumps which should help with the density of some of the parts in there I, I couldn't actually figure out how they were managing to uh, get the larger parts set up because I not noticed that in the de deltas there are kind of like structures but my best guess is they just did something similar to this and they'll basically just like generate um, clusters of these things and then spawn them in as structures. So we're going to have to go ahead and um, obviously build all these up. I'm trying to make it so it's a little bit rounded, lower on the parts below. And that's basically what I got out of it. So it's kind of like a larger pillar kind of thing from Basalt. And we're going to basically spawn that in. Now I did come back to this later on and fix up some of the bottom parts. Uh, because right now it's just flat. But... Um, I wanted to see what it would actually look like in the game. And there's some phantoms up there dying. <laughs> but yeah, so basically this is what I'm calling it. And I've already wrapped it around structure voids or structure voids around it. So I needed to import that. I'm going to remove the old found, uh, structure formations. And I'm just going to import that one. And then we're going to remove all the... Um, original ones that we were using for the biome and then we're going to go ahead and add a place structure so custom structure we're going to set a column and I want to go ahead and set the I think I set the uh, try, try changing the um, block itself but I changed it back to error because I didn't really need the um, the air there over the structure voids I just left it as air and it did just fine so uh, now some of the other things that I wanted to go I have the other uh, thing up on my screen right now just to see what the structure size or structure settings are and I'm trying to figure out uh, to the best of my ability what um, to basically set the uh, horizon and offset so Basically, I want it to kind of go down a little bit and have kind of variety on that, right? So I'm not sure if that would that controls that part. Uh, to say that there is a few different settings, but um, like offset horizon and uh, vertically. So 
or pardon me, hor horizontally and vertically. So basically, I was hoping that it would kind of do a random amount, and I'm not sure if there's any real difference, if there's a random uh, height difference or anything like that. But I have noticed that it is a little bit different, and we're actually generating things underneath the water now. So there's a lot different um, parts here, but I am noticing when I'm flying around and stuff that there are structures that uh, were floating a little bit. So basically what I ended up doing was I needed to create a structure uh, anti-floating script, which I actually have on my projects uh, thing, my projects uh, repository. I'll link to that particular script in the um, description so you guys can use that for your own. I've updated it so it's up to date and everything like that. But um, so what I needed to do is because it's motion blocking and all that other stuff, I needed to figure out a way to basically get the structure um, above and I decided just to remove that block because it wasn't really making too much of a difference and it, the problem that I started having was um, with the, the offset of the height and stuff like that I needed to go ahead and start sorting out what order of structures were needing to be generated first so I'm going to add a random within chunk repeat on every vertical layer to the um, pillar one and hopefully this will allow me to generate a little bit more underwater and it didn't for some reason so I'm almost wondering if the structures just prefer to spawn underwater if they're like a structure part or something like that but the basalt ones as you can see with the night vision they're not generating underneath and we would have to create an entire structure just for all the different variants of the height and stuff like that. So we might do that eventually in one day, but um, at the moment I'm not sure if I want to do that. Uh, just mainly because it would take a lot of uh, time to do and already for the complexity of the video it's already been a pretty long video. So um, as you can see it's a lot different for the basalt it kind of feels uh, more nethery than anything and some of the structures as you can see here are floating and we're going to be fixing that uh, in just a couple minutes but um, I wanted to uh, just take a look and see what the actual biome looks like the um, order of where the deltas are generating is hardly generating any lava so I wanted to fix that eventually as well and we'll see if we can't um, fix that up uh, while we're uh, doing that. We can set the change the order of which the features are generating in in order to um, do that. What we would want to do is run the delta after the uh, core terrain features are generated. So um, basically having that at the bottom of the list of um, the thing. Now I'm going to import this large structure spawning script and we're going to need to change a few things here for everything to work. I'm going to disable the um, enable soil replacement and then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and set our topsoil to basalt and we're going to set our bottom layer to basalt and what we're going to do is we're going to leave that air block there and we're going to need to set up the tags as well. And going back into the structure, this is where I realized I'm going to need to go ahead and make some adjustments to the actual structure. So what I needed to do was dig a little bit down and then I could basically start filling in the, um, uh, basically rounding the bottom of the structure just so it looks a little bit more natural. Uh, having a straight, thick structure like it is now can actually make it look more rough and not natural so basically trying to round edges and stuff like that as best as you can I know it sounds weird doing that with a game that's built on blocks but um, even blocks look better with uh, some rounding and stuff like that so um, trying to do that with your structures more can actually really help with the um, actual um, generation process and stuff like that and especially in parts that are not going to really be seen by people too much, 
like uh, for example on the bottom of this particular structure it's not going to be really seen unless it's floating right so we want to still give it enough detail where it's going to basically generate but we also want it to make sure that it's going to look reasonable when we're actually if it does decide to float too right and um, even with our structure spawning script we still need to make sure that it has uh, a rounded edge just in case that there's a cliff or something like that but the next thing I needed to do was go into the save folder and I'm going to delete the old structure for it and the other one that we created now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and um, just remove the um, resource pack or no I, I don't know what I was doing there actually I'm just I think I was just talking or thinking about something. But uh, yeah, so basically what we want to do is set the... Um, oh, I think it was because it was in full screen. I didn't actually show. So basically the size was 7. And um, the for the uh, structure size, it's 7 and 7 for the width and height. Or not width, the uh, width and depth. And then we want to offset the position. Uh, because it's 7, we want to offset it to 4 so it's in the center of it. And I'm going to set the Y position to negative 3 uh, for now. And then we need to set up our uh, tags for our error. I already have one for Minecraft error. So we can just use that for the air tag. And then we're going to do uh, one for the undersoil and the topsoil for basalt under our own namespace. So we can go ahead and uh, just double check to make sure there's no uh, particular uh, one called that in our mod already and then we can go ahead and just call it basalt and we're going to add our cobblestone version our mossy cobblestone version and our um, just a regular version so that's basically what we're using for the tag and that's all we need to do everything else below that is basically configured automatically so just make sure that's linked up with the additional spawning condition and we're good to go. So you might notice that there's some changes uh, around the structure themselves. So basically what I've done is basically just came in came in here and just checked to see if there was any more floating structures. There was some um, a while ago in this part. This is another location that I found for more hilly areas and it really helped basically test to see if these structures were actually floating still. And as you can see, the deltas are pretty small still, but I'm not sure really how to fix that. I think that's just the way that they are. And going over here, you can kind of see that everything is not floating anymore. And that's also the case underground or underwater as well. Uh, all the structures that are generating are a lot more rare, but... Um, they are generating on flat surfaces and basically what you see here is what the um, amount of structures generating are going to be and it's probably even going to be less in the hilly areas so what I wanted to do was I wanted to make a repeater and repeat that at least five times just to see what it would look like and I'm going to go ahead and I forgot to set up the actual structure itself so I'm going to import the structure that I uh, needed and already I noticed that there is uh, quite a bit of um, structures generating um, for the ones that we wanted so all these are basically generating in the proper locations and as you can see now there's a lot more um, underwater structures however they're actually technically floating well they're not floating but they're um, not in the ground and for that, what we're going to need to do is actually offset the structure in the future itself. And that way we can move it down like three blocks or whatever, because the generation script doesn't actually handle that. It just makes sure that it can test for that location to make sure that it's not floating, right? So that's basically what we're going to do uh, quickly here. And we're probably at the end of the video, so... Uh, basically, I just reset that to negative 3, and I disabled the rotation just so that the script would work properly. And going back in game, you can kind of see that everything is now on the ocean floor. So it's a lot better than what it was. And for the other parts, I reorganized the structure generation type. 
uh, like the order. And basically what I ended up doing was I put the Delta to spawn last. And then I had the um, structures, I think, first. And then the uh, Deltas... Or not the Deltas, the small pillars uh, for them to generate after the um, other ones. And then before all that, uh, basically what I did... Or after all that, I basically did the, um, what do you call it, the masking of the cobblestone. Just so everything was basically generating a little bit more randomly. And would take everything else into effect. So that's basically it. Um, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video. And I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.